you sit down on any one day, it's very rare for us to have a whole day where everything happened exactly as we wanted. Yes. Have, 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 have any of you had a day like that? Right? It's a rare occasion. Like you look back on the day, if it happens like that, you think, wow, that was an awesome day. Right? <laughs> now, that will happen more and more as you deal with your emotions. You'll have more and more of those kind of days. But the majority of us don't have those days, do we? What we have is the whole, right from the moment we get up in the morning, something goes wrong with the kids, something goes wrong with the car, something goes wrong with this, something goes wrong with that. And these are all of our law of attraction, pulling in all of these events, telling us that there's emotions in me right now that I could choose to connect to if I wanted to and work my way through. And you know what I do with them most of the time? I just skip over them with a bit of mental, mental gymnastics and I'm in a new space and I don't need to worry about that. And you know what happens tomorrow? Often even the same thing. Often even the same thing. And certainly in the week or whatever. It even, you will notice if you're observant about the law of attraction, the law of attraction is a beautiful law, but if you're observant about it, you will actually notice right down to tiny little time frames in your day what's going on, what you were talking about, what happened when you were talking about that. All of these things. When you injure yourself. How many of you just had a little cut on your hand yesterday? Or a little cut on part of your body yesterday? I, I had a, a number yesterday. <laughs> They are all law of attraction events based around emotions going on within myself right at that moment. Right. And the key is to begin observing them. With the law of attraction, I've noticed that everything is emotional, no matter how small the mind it might seem, everything is related to my emotions. That's it. Everything is related to an emotional cause within you. Everything. Every single event that's going on in your life. Now that being said, can you see how we often judge it, say, no, that's somebody else's, that was this, no, that was only because I was doing this or doing that, and we just skip over the emotion of it. And remember, this is about opening up emotionally, not skipping over emotions. So whenever you choose to skip over an emotion, what you're actually choosing is to keep your relationship with God distant. That's what you're choosing. You're allowed to choose that because you have free will. You're allowed to do that any time you want. But do you want to keep doing this? Don't you want to have a different type, kind of life? Do you want to keep getting the same law of attraction every day? Do you want to keep having these same things go on and on and on? Well, obviously we don't. So let's change it, but deal with it emotionally. Now, how many of you have experienced the fact that you've dealt with an emotion and within a minute something has happened to tell you that you've just dealt with it? Does anyone want to say, say what that was? Or is it a bit scary? Justin, you want to say what yours? Yeah. There's a, a project at work that I thought I wanted to work on some while back. And so we flagged one of the managers, look, this is what I wanted to do. They came back and said, no, we've already emailed that external person to do that. So I went home, I practiced a complaint and whatever else. And then Last week I started getting into some self-worth stuff. And I thought back to that and it was around what and at the time it was around they don't think I'm good enough to do this, you know. And I didn't even get into the emotional process of fully, but all I did was acknowledge it and I started to feel it. The next day they came back and said, Oh, the manager's changed their mind. Do you want the job? Do you want that project? Yeah. I went, yeah, that'd be good. So, so even, even just the intellectual realisation and a little bit of the emotion, straight away, things change. Yeah. So you will find this happen on a regular basis in your life if you deal with the causal emotion. If this doesn't happen to you, then it's because you are not dealing with the causal emotion. There's no other reason. No other reason. Remember, the law of attraction is like the mirror that you get up in the morning and you look at your face here, and you see you know those marks and those blemishes and you know you can choose to actually feel them or you can choose to skip over them and ignore them if you choose to feel them you will in fact the very next day not have that reflection back at you 
it, the reflection will stop instantly coming back again.